Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a compass bar uh, like this as you can see in the mid top of the screen. So as you can see when I turn around you can see north, east, south, west uh, the basic directions uh, and it changes as I look around. So when I when I start the game I'm directly looking forward so that is the north and if I look into this way you can see east comes to the mid so right let's see how to implement this compass bar today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me Right, so uh, let's create a new pro project with the type of games and I'll use third person character. Next, uh, X, X, I call it compass bar. You can call whatever you want. The project I don't need is starter content. Create the project. right so this is the project and yeah, it's usual third person character template and i have created this image mm. let me save it into the project location and import to the project I'll save it as a PNG. Hmm. Well, first let me create a UI folder. Right. Here is the texture I just imported. And let's uh, now create a new widget blueprint let's call it wdg pass bar right now here i'll add an image to the top let's anchor it to the middle and set X alignment to 0.5 and set X position to 0 Y position like this right now if I just directly use the texture here and if I just yeah let me set the compass bar I'll set size X to 1000 size Y 200 this is too big actually and but now I if I set it like a texture I don't think I can move around this like no so we will have to use this as a material and also i need to fade out these edges as well um, so let's create a material with this and we have to change the material domain to user interface connect this to final color and apply now it is same 
So, wait. Let's get uh, texture coordinate. And that. Let's promote this to a parameter. What happens if we change this value? See, now we can move it. You see this value. Uh, let's change the previous size to same as the size we have used in the in here. Now it's like this, and if I change the value to 1 it's same okay 0.5 south is here and north is there okay 0.25 right now we can use this material and based on the rotation of the characters uh, characters camera looking at we can change this value and show which direction character is facing right now let's go to the graph and in the event tick uh, uh, we can let me rename this to compass bar set how do I change the parameter oh. we have to get the dynamic material Right, so then let's promote it to variable. Right, uh, M compass. Now in the take set uh, scalar parameter. And as the parameter name I can use let's call this yo so this has to be a number between 0 and 1 but first just for testing I'll put 0.5 uh, oh, before we need to put this into the viewport so let's create a HUD Here 
in the begin player let's create widget use in compass bar and add to viewport and here I'll set the third person game mode and as the heart I'll set heart third person right now we have this and yeah I set as 0.5 this says uh, I set as 0.5 this value so okay we can get player character no control rotation right now we can access here so when the rotation is zero the yo is zero that means we are directly looking at north so what kind of values we get here anyway uh, let me print this first so we can have a better idea huh. It's, it goes from 0 to 360 cool I think it was weird last time when I check uh, because I remember something like 0 to 180 and minus 180 to 0 something like that okay but this is going to be easy then so what we have to do is divide this by 360 and feed it see now it is working properly okay uh, what else I think we should make it uh, smaller maybe 500 by 50 Uh, so let's try to fade out the edges so actually we should be able to do something like this um, let me add another layer and go to the gradient tool from the middle oh, actually I'm not a professional Photoshop guy right something like this let me save this mm. compass bar fade and import to the material oh. alpha how can we make it let me break make 
slot four. Right. For RGB, we can use this. For the alpha, we can use red channel of this one. Oh, I don't think I can see any difference. Ah, sorry. There is another opacity node here. So we have to change the blend mode to translucent I guess because in the masked one we can't have partial transparency oh it has to be interchanged one minus right this is better oh cool now we have the smooth edge all right uh, so i think we can stop this episode right here and in the next episode let's see in this uh, series let's see how to add stuff like objective markers so any other checkpoint markers stuff like that how to add them into this compass bar and thanks for watching so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club link would be in the description below and also the project files will be available for the download so see you in another episode goodbye